reserve break. I'm here in the Avoca Gallery and I'll be talking to Rod Coyne about art classes, his gallery and the... Rod, it's an absolute pleasure to be here in the Avoca Painting School and Gallery. Tell us how you started. And we found this place which was the Avoca Gift Centre and, and the building had loads of different carnations but there was always uh, incarnations over the years but there was always the uh, um, this public space as part of it. So that's perfect. We could we could have a place to live and we could have a studio and a gallery also. But the painting school put me in a different category. It meant people who wouldn't otherwise cross the threshold, they were coming into the gallery then to be part of that. And people who were here, there, it was more than just a luxury item, as in a painting on a wall, because they were they were learning a new skill and, and much more than learning how to paint. There's there's a group dynamic of working with people in the class, and there's also, you know, there's a very there's a very meditative effect that you have. I mean, the class might be dynamic and, and, and happening, but people, when they go away from the class, they actually usually feel grounded afterwards. So I, I was offering something quite different than what I'd offered before. How have you found it so far? Well, great. I think for me, it's I really like the kind of loose style that Rod has with his painting. And I kind of find I'm more of an illustrative type of when I, when I do draw, that it's very kind of tight and illustrated, so I just thought it felt like it would be a good way to free up the way that I do art. Uh, I know other people have mentioned the loose style, and I think that's a very good way to start. Uh, don't be afraid of the paint, just get it down on paper, get used to, mi used to mixing, and then nothing is ever a, a mistake. It's a learning process, and you, you keep moving on. Well, there's a great saying where there's an artist in all of us. Is that true or false? Uh, and I think, I think painting should be there for everybody because everyone should enjoy it because it, it is literally, it's a very satisfying thing, you know, mixing up paint and just applying it to a surface and seeing what happens if it runs down or if they blend or mix or if you rub it with your arm or your elbow, what happens then, all that sort of thing. There's an excitement there. So we used to do it when we were two and three year olds and we couldn't get enough of it, you know, and you'd hold up a picture there with a, a, a circle of two dots and, Daddy, that's you, you know, and, but you had that and, and that gets lost over the years when you're growing up. So what we do here is try and get back into that a little bit. And that's what I mean, that's, that's exactly the thing, that everybody should be allowed to enjoy that, and everyone should be allowed to revisit that, that part of their childhood. So it means that, that I can teach people how to paint, I can teach them a lot about painting, the nuts and bolts of it, I can break it down into bite-sized uh, chunks, but I can't actually teach somebody to be an artist. That does come from the inside out, and, and, and you have to feel driven to want to become an artist, I think, you know, and it has to be your chosen field.